Hi there. This is Chapter 7, Lesson 2 on Simple Kinetic Theory of Matter for the Singapore GCEO and N-Level Syllabus. Now, in this uh, video lesson, we will cover the following two points. First, we will describe the relationship between the motion of molecules and temperature. And the last point is how to respond to typical questions asked about kinetic theory for the GCEO and N-Levels questions. All right. Now, let's start by having a look at the relationship between motion of molecules and temperature. Well, when the temperature is increased, we know that the particles will move faster. Correspondingly, when the temperature is decreased, the particles move more slowly. In both cases, the particle movement remains random and continuous. And so, the simple kinetic theory of matter is basically referring to a model whereby particles that make up matter are always continuously moving. Now, let's try to understand this a little bit better by looking at it from the point of view of energy. When the amount of heat given to an object is low, this means that very little thermal energy is given to the matter that makes up the object. Hence, the kinetic energy of the molecules will also be low. To us, we detect this low energy of the object by its temperature. In other words, temperature of an object gives us an indication of how high or low the kinetic energy of the molecules inside the object. When the object is heated, this means that the object gains thermal energy. Molecules gain thermal energy and move faster. Thus, we say that this thermal energy has been transformed into, into kinetic energy of molecules by the principle of conservation of energy. So, when kinetic energy increases, correspondingly, the temperature of object will show an increase. In other words, this object will become hotter. All right? So, by now, you would have figured out that objects contain some internal energy. It is time to introduce to you that this internal energy is made up of two types of energy. First is the kinetic and the other one is the potential energy. Kinetic energy of molecule depends on the speed of these molecules, while the potential energy of the molecule depends on the intermolecular forces of attraction and also the distance between the molecules in the object. So this slide basically summarizes what we have been learning uh, with regards to the simple kinetic theory of matter. Take note, we are talking about kinetic theory and therefore we are very um, focused on the kinetic energy aspect of these um, molecules. All right? So um, when an object that has a higher temperature, this will mean that it has a higher total internal energy. In this, it means that it will have a higher kinetic energy. Therefore, the molecules will also be moving a lot faster and rapidly around. Now, for object which is at a lower temperature or cooler, this suggests, therefore, that there is a lower total internal energy. This also means that the kinetic energy of the molecules are also lower, and therefore, these molecules are moving at a slower speed. Now, let's recap from the ideas uh, from the very first video and also from what we have learned in this video with regards to motion and uh, and temperature okay by looking at these four true or false questions the first question is this are the forces between gas molecules are these forces negligible well the answer would be true right the forces in gas state is very very weak so that it can be ignored how about question number two Forces between solid molecules are weaker than the forces between liquid molecules. Recalling the diagram that shows how the strength of intermolecular forces are like for the three different states, you would recall that the forces in the solid molecules are a lot stronger than that of liquid. Therefore, this answer would be false. Question number three. The average speed of molecules in a gas decrease when they are heated. So is this true or false? Now, if you recall, when something is being uh, heated, it will gain energy, and as a result, the total internal energy of that uh, substance will increase. This therefore suggests that the, also the kinetic energy will increase. So if the kinetic increases, this will mean that the average speed of molecules 
will also increase. Hence, the answer to this particular question would also be false. Last question. Gases molecules move randomly at high speed. True or false? Well, the answer to this is true. Let's recall that in gas states, molecules have very high internal energy and therefore very high kinetic energy as well, compared to a liquid or solid. Right? So these molecules will be moving very, very uh, very very rapidly okay now let's have a look at some typical questions from GCE O and N levels exams the first question is this how is the speed of the of the molecules related to the temperature well if you're thinking that at a higher temperature the faster will, will the molecules move then you'll be right this is how you should actually write down the answer the higher the temperature the faster the mo motion of the molecules or alternatively you can say that the molecules will move faster that's an easy question right now for the second question using the kinetic model of matter explain whether the density of a gas is lower or higher than that of a solid well we know that in solids the particles are closely packed and compared to that for gases the particles are far apart so since density is defined as mass per unit volume, then solids must have a much higher density since there are more there are more particles packed closely together per unit volume compared to gases. So if you ask this question, then these are the two key points that you have to write down in response to this. Usually for these kind of questions, there will be two marks allocated. Right? Now let's have a look at question number three. Explain why gas can be compressed more easily than liquid. Again, such kind of question will usually come with two marks. So what are the two key points that we should explain here? The first would be this. Gas particles are further apart or have more spaces between them compared to liquid particles. You compare basically the distances between gas and liquid state. The next point you have to write down is this. During compression, the gas particles will be able to move closer together, but not liquid particles. So these are the two points that will gain you the two marks credit for uh, this particular question. Right? So that brings us to almost the end of the video. So to summarize, you should have learned how to describe the relationship between the motion of molecules and temperature. This is important. So let us recap that at low temperature, molecules move at slower speeds while at high temperature, molecules move at high speeds. The last point is this. You should also have learned how to respond to typical questions asked about kinetic theory. Well, with that, thank you so much.